You know, I wasn't really sure of this at first, although I su suspected. Now, if you look at Roberto's last video, it's more of a tribute to my girlfriend. And I kind of thought this a long time ago, but I just never really confirmed it. It was always, I was always suspicious about why he likes to go on the attack of me and Gilda. I was looking at his last video, go take a look at that. If anything, it's a tribute to my girlfriend. Roberta is actually obsessed with Gilda. It's not that he really, on an internal level, hates me. It's just that he's jealous that I have a woman like her that's actually interested in with me. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I thought about this many times because his obsession with her seems a little bit unusual so that's why roberta comes up with all this stuff that, oh yeah she's a whore she did this she did that she did you know she was this she was that it really actually comes down to that i mean i suspected this a long time ago but i'm i'm convinced of it because by looking at that last video he just spent all this time all this time finding clips of anything that she is in and just kind of randomly put this shit together. And it wasn't really knocking her at all. I thought it was a tribute to her. Truthfully, go take a look at that. That's more of a tribute. No, I'm not Anthony, by the way, and Anthony is not me. And sorry, it was a typo. Okay, it's NPA, not NRA. It's National People's Army. I'll correct that, you know my typos. And as far as family having money, it's her children that inherited I, I just trying to straight roberta out because roberta seems to get things wrong <laughs> to say the least no her children have inherited money from land that was sold and those that are legal age have actually collected on that but it, that's it's not here nor there it's it's nobody's business really i mentioned that because he tries to paint this really grim picture of Gilda's life or her life with me. She's doing great with me and we're happy and that just bothers Roberta. Because you see, if most of you don't know, uh, I don't know what his situation is right now, except that he seems to have to work because his, I don't know, he'll get a pension or something from the Coast Guard, I'm not really sure, but he has to go back to work. So he has to operate, of all things, taco stands. <laughs> all right, we won't get into that. But point being is that Roberta has had an obsession with Gilda for a long time. In other words, if I can't have her, you're not going to have her. Hey, I'm convinced of this. And I'd like to hear your opinions on this, too, because... This is what I put together about Roberta. Okay? He's absolutely obsessed. Look, how much time did it take him to put together a lot of these videos in reference to me or Gilda, right? Now, if you look at the last video he put on, that took some time to go in his files and find clips of anything that she's in. And what he was trying to portray was something negative, but actually it was something actually praising her actually showing his obsession for her. So that explains everything to me. I've had these thoughts before, but I couldn't totally confirm them. But for somebody to spend their time, and they're supposed to be a busy person running their taco stands, but the other thing is keep in mind that if you didn't notice, his family lives in a different place in Texas than he does. He's living in Dallas, okay? And his family, probably inclusive of his wife, is living in another part of Texas. And that says something to me. It always did. Why is he not living together with his wife? I think Roberta is absolutely, well, he could be ACDC, actually. It makes me wonder because he doesn't just have an obsession with Gilda. And by the way, his name is Gilda, not Gina. <laughs> okay. Did I throw you off on that one? See, this is proof that this guy takes notes on everything. Because at one time I said, no, her name really is not Gilda, it's Gina. He's gone with this for a long time because he's so naive and he's so gullible. No, her name is not Gina, it's Gilda. 
Her name has never been Gina, but see, it goes to show how much attention he pays to what I have to say on my show. And I caught him on that one. He refers to her as Gina. That was bait right there, and he took it. No, her name ain't Gina, it's Gilda. <laughs> there is no Gina in the family. Now, as far as me uh, helping out the family, the kids helped out a lot. The ones that were above 18 years old. They're the ones that hold their own money. Yes, it is true. It is true. Unfortunately for Gilda, her father did die of bullet wounds from what they call the National People's Army, NPA, not NRA, like the National Rifle Association. Just a typo on my part. Yeah, it was a sad thing. She was very close to her dad. But that did happen. Yeah, he was. He was shot 11 times on some kind of dispute. That's true. Yes, he did own a lot of land. It was sold later on. And a trust fund was put up for the children. Yes, that's true. And as of 18 years of age, they would be able to collect on their trust fund. And she does have half of her children or whatever that are actually over the age of 18. Not half, but uh, four of them are actually over the age of 18. So yes, they do have money. They absolutely do. Some are going to college. Some are... One is a registered uh, uh, or certified public accountant, doing very well. The other daughter is uh, to do accounting, but now she's in bed and breakfast. She owns several condos uh, in IT Park, uh, which is some that we go to stay in. Her children have done very well, those that are of age and that are working. One is an engineer. So Roberta is trying to find so much fault with me, with her, and her family. So what's the big difference that she has eight kids? It's not unknown that Filipinos like large families. Is that a bad thing? Well, personally, I would not have eight kids. That's me. Okay. One was enough, and that didn't turn out real well. <laughs> but I did my job like any good parent would do. But why does that bother you, Roberta? That's, that's the question. I have come up with a conclusion, and I, I know a lot of my viewers have too, that Roberta is absolutely obsessed. In other words, if he can't have her, that he certainly don't want me to be happy with her. He was one of the original people that said that it would never last with her more than six weeks, and it's now officially been eight years, Roberta, eight years. And we're still together, Roberta, Roberta, and we're happy, Roberta, and things are great. No, my girlfriend will never die a broke woman. That's not gonna happen, because I've given her my own assurances and insurances that when something happens to me, she will get my money. In other words, she's a woman that's not gonna have any problems. Yes, she does have her own money. No, I don't live off her money at all, okay? <laughs> like any relationship, the man takes care of the woman. She does contribute, she absolutely does. Yes, the house certainly will be totally hers. It is under my name too. When I die, the house will be hers, the bank account will be hers. And I have done what most men try to do for their family or their loved ones. That upon their leaving this earth, that the people they love are going to be taken care of. More so. Now, from what I see is that Roberta is actually jealous of the fact that I have her. Yes, yeah, she's a cute woman. Even at 49, she's better looking than most. I've seen pictures even recently. Someone's showing pictures of their girlfriend and shit. And I gotta tell you, for a gal that's in her 40s, her late 40s, she's still looking good. She's not a bad looking woman. She never was. And she's aging pretty gracefully, I would think. Oh, you see, I, I don't go for teeny boppers like some of you trolls do out there. It's not my thing. I'm realistic. It's, I have nothing in common with an 18 year old. <laughs> I just don't. I was 18 once and that was fine at the time. But I'm not 18 anymore. And no, I'm not 77 or 80 or whatever. Roberta likes to stretch the truth a lot. He's, he's, besides being full of shit, he's full of hyperbole. So people like to use this because a lot of these people are not in good relationships or they don't have a relationship with a Filipina. 
That's where the problem arises, because they're living their life vicariously through my life and, and perhaps some other vloggers out there. So that's exactly what's going on. That's what's why all the insults come in, because they're upset that I'm living a decent life, which I actually am. And how Roberta wishes I had COPD. That's what a low life disguise. Well, I put out some paperwork. Nobody asked me to put it out. I just decided to do it. Just to get his goat a little bit, you know? <laughs> which I enjoy doing. And that's why the back and forth with Roberta all the time, because I mean, that's all he does on his show. It's about me. Everybody wants to be a copycat channel. But isn't it interesting, or don't you find it interesting, why they're so fascinated with my life and or my girlfriend's life? It's an obsession. It's jealousy. It's envy. That there's actually a YouTuber out there that's actually living a decent life. Money has never, ever since I set foot in the Philippines, has never been an issue for Not really. Okay, I'm in a better situation now than I think I was when I first set foot in the Philippines. But you see, I was never without money. I told you, I sold the house in Seattle with a good, good profit. I didn't have six bankruptcies. I had two, and it was an American privilege. I ran up some credit card bills. Some things happened. I might have been between jobs at the time, and it added up. Oh, that doesn't happen. The American dream is not fortified by credit cards, is it? It most certainly is. Whether or not I had bankruptcies or not, I pulled myself up from the low ground I was on where I had these bills. And ever since, I had a house in Seattle, had a house in Hawaii, now have a house in the Philippines. So it don't matter to me about bankruptcies. Bankruptcies are basically American privilege to help you get back on your feet, to regroup yourself. How many of you have bankruptcies out there? You're not going to talk about. So what? I had bankruptcies. I mean, what the fuck? Took advantage. Took advantage of it. It was there for every American citizen to utilize, to regroup and get back on their feet. And that I did. Absolutely. From that day on, everything has been lowered. Everything was in an upward direction. So, what's wrong with this picture? Why is Roberto and a few other people trying to paint, paint such a grim picture of my life? It's because they're not living my life. And go to all their files and finding clips of this, clips of that. That's obsession. I'm sorry if you disagree, but that is obsession by my definition. Absolutely. He's obsessed with me. But more so, he's obsessed with my girlfriend. Imagine that, that this is what that's really all about. Yes, I have made that conclusion, at least in regards to Roberta. I don't think he has a great relationship with his wife. I think a lot of things have changed in his life. I think ever since he got the bypass, the gastro bypass on his stomach, okay, his life was out of control. What he doesn't understand about a gastro bypass is that there's always complications down the line with that. So I don't think his health is the greatest. Is it ironic that he's running taco stands? <laughs> taco stands. <laughs> taco stands. <laughs> I don't know. To each his own, I guess. Taco stands, bubblegum stands, whatever, you know. He can only do what he can do. But you got to give him credit for trying. I guess his income is not really... Well, with all the spending he had on boats and trucks and everything else he kind of overspent i guess so he had to go run some taco stands and that tells me something right there that all is not that well for roberta at all and by the way gilda is flattered on your last video because i i see nothing terribly wrong with on that video if anything you were honoring her like she was some deity to you is she a deity to you, Roberta? I don't see anything that was really, amazingly, I don't see anything that was wrong with that video, really. It's not depicting her, for the most part, from what I've seen of it, as being anything but just a beautiful Filipina who happens to have eight children. So what's, again, wrong with that? Is that unusual for Filipinas to have multiple children? It's not unusual at all. <laughs> 
You might find in the United States, kind of unusual for people to have, on an average, you know, say eight children. Yeah, I, I kind of blink my eyes a little bit and say, what the hell, you know, the economy, everything else. But in the Philippines, they don't look at it that way. You got to remember, God said, the, the Catholic Church said, that it's okay to have multiple children. Let me tell you something. And what she's done for these children. She went to work in Brunei, and she slaved, and she sent all her money to raising her children while she was gone. She did a great job of doing that even overseas. Of course, she'd come back, go back a little bit, and finally finished her contract, and she stayed home and raised her kids. She sacrificed a lot for her kids. I gotta give her credit for that, I really do. Because she didn't live on much while she was living in Brunei. Brunei, all of her money. Very little she put in her pocket. She worked hard, very hard, okay? Send money to her children, okay? They were young. No inheritance money that period of time for these children that was available to actually use. Keep that in mind, okay? But, but she herself is such a good business person. She's a good business model, is what she is. And she knew how to save money. She sent money from Brunei, okay? Not having to go into her fund from land. She still went to work, okay? All the money she sent over for the care of her children. It's pretty honorable, the way I see it. She could have gone into her, tr her fund, it's not a trust fund, so she had it in the bank. She could have just gone into that, but instead, she worked. She worked. The gift horse that was given to her, she utilized for other purposes. And yes, of course, there was contributions to some of the disaster of old debt for the family. I even contributed. It wasn't just my money. It was a joint effort of all the family. All the family, my boy, to help out with the old debt situation. My money, her money other family members' money. So just to get things straight, Roberta, just to get things straight, your facts are wrong. Her name is Gilda, it's not Gina. Caught you on that one, bro. Gilda is fine. She's taken care of for the rest of her life, not only by my means, but her own. She could be quite independent if she wanted to. And she doesn't have to be with me, Roberta. She doesn't have to. She chooses to be with me. I must have some substance after all, Roberta. Hmm? She would be with me. She's free to be. Doors open both. They go open and they close. They go either way. No one's forcing her to be with me. Nobody's ever forced her to be with me. She chooses to be with me. What do you think about that, Roberta? Your daughter's going to be six weeks, remember? And eight years, Roberta. Count them. Eight years, Roberta. Eight years. That's right. <laughs> I just think there's a lot of obsessing going on here. Whether it's involving me and or her. Because I can't see anything else. People who have followed me for years, they know who I am. They know what I'm really all about. They know I'm not a goddamn child predator. They know I'm very giving. They know that I have a heart, and I do give of myself. And I take care of more people than I do for myself on spending. Because my family comes first. That's just the way it is with me. Comprende? So, all this wrongdoings in regards to me. Okay, what's the wrongdoings? Oh, I got aggravated a few times. I, I said a few things. I most certainly did. I was defensive. Didn't like certain comments over the years. As being human as I am, I reacted and such, but you see, unlike some of these goobers, I'm man enough to say, hey, guess what, out of anger, I said something that I probably should have said, okay? I was big enough and man enough to say that. How many people on here do that? They still deny their wrongs, hmm? I guess I'm really hitting a point this morning, am I? Oh, this is not rehearsed. I'm man living this whole damn thing, actually. <laughs> But it just happens to be fact. All facts, every bit of it. Now, somebody's got a problem with me. I don't know, man. I sit down at the table or something and, and ask yourself, what is my real problem? With is this that I'm hearing what other people say about him and or her? Is that what it really comes down to on here? Because that's what I think is going on here. A lot of people don't know me on here, but you better understand something too. There's a lot of people that have sock accounts on here major soccer counts. It's not, 
coming from a shitload of people. All these wonderful insults, okay, the hearsay, okay, unverified facts or statements. It's just a small group of people that decided, well, let me do a sock account. Let's attack Frank and or his girlfriend at different angles. That's all it is. It's all it's ever been. Well, you're not going to change my life whether you like it or not. I'm not going to become unhealthy because you want me to be unhealthy. As far as how long I'm going to live, that's according to my genetics. It's up to nature. It's up to maybe even God, if there is a God. But when they hear that my health is actually pretty damn good, they fall apart. They'll say things like, he's got COPD. Well, I prove I don't have that. He's got this. I'll tell you what I do have. Got a few achy bones now and then. I definitely got an allergy. There's no changing that. That I got. But all in all, I'm in pretty good shape for my age. And no, I'm not 75. I'm 69. Roberto, who likes to do all this hyperbole all the time, because Mr. Exag Mr. Exaggerator, he likes to try to emphasize fault with me and or my girlfriend. No, you can't have her, Roberto. Why don't you just concentrate on your own wife and try to solve whatever your problems are and stop obsessing. How many times do you jack off to her pictures? That's, that's my question to you. How many times do you do that? Dressing her up like a whore on your thumbnails. That alone, my friend. But believe me, you're supposed to be coming over to the Philippines or have you already? You know where I live. You got a beef with me. Maybe you get the chance to actually meet the real Gilda. Wouldn't that be just exhilarating for you to meet the woman that you're obsessed with in person? We could give you that opportunity. We could arrange that. You just have to write me on my email. We could arrange that anytime you want if you're going to come down here. Keep your fucking hands out of your fucking underwear. You know what I'm saying, okay? I think you sit down there and jack off to her pictures. That's what I think. Just my opinion. You're obsessed. You're sick. You're a sick man, Roberta. Concentrate on your own family. Your lovely children. Your wife. You know, the, the girl with the dyed blonde hair, that that woman that you presented briefly some pictures, but you never show on camera at all. Because most of the time you haven't even been with your woman. Mm. Something's been going on with that for years. So he needs another woman to obsess about. He just happens to choose mine. Oh yeah, that cute little overbite she has. That's what turned me on too, man. I gotta be honest with you, when I met her, I have a thing about overbites. It works with some women, it doesn't work for others. But it sure worked for her. That's right, the sweetheart of the rodeo. That's what she is. She is a sweetheart on here. She's not a YouTuber, but she's well known and people, I think, really like her. Some obsess over her. A bad looking woman, especially for her age. So, what have I got bad going for me? Besides an occasional bout of boredom, on my island. I'm not living a bad life at all. Thank you very much. Those have come and gone. have said many things about me and or her. They were wrong every time. I told you, the amount of plates of crow that I put out, I'm surprised that crow is not on the extinction list by now. <laughs> That's my show.